in this video i'm going to be sharing eight things that are going to guide your stay as a fresher in the faculty of law university of lagos if you are new here my name is adora obilago and i am a fourth year law student at the university of lagos obviously that's why i'm making this video anyway let's jump right into the first one no time the first thing i'm going to say is that you should try as much as possible to join chambers and association think of chambers like those houses that you have in your school red house yellow house purple house but chambers do more than that so in the faculty of law there are four chambers there is the guiding power in Michigan. If you ask me, I'll tell you to join Ghani because I believe it's the best chamber in the faculty. For instance, last session, Ghani hosted the School of Advocacy and as the name implies, it teaches you how to advocate you know it's actual lawyers that came to teach us how to write how to debate how to speak in court and all of that then for associations there are a whole lot we have tax club we have maritime forum we have oil and gas bar so the importance of associations is that they help you and they expose you to different areas of law do you want to be a tax lawyer do you want to be an oil and gas lawyer do you want to be a maritime lawyer joining associations is how you learn about all these things i'm not going to tell you which associations to join i'm going to tell you to join everything and to be clear think of associations like those clubs and societies that you would have in secondary school just trying to give you context the next associations that i'm going to talk about they are non-negotiable that is the mutin society dr society the mutin society particularly you know i spoke about how a lot of chambers have fallen off the multi society they've not fallen off they've maintained their standards they have their weekly meetings every tuesday so as a law student is definitely a place that you want to be here stands for alternative dispute resolution and as the name implies it's an alternative method of resolving disputes if you don't want to go to court one type of adr is mediation and let me explain how mediation works just for context adora and daniel we have an issue we go meet independent third parties to mediate over our issue and it helps us to solve our problems. There's ADR remotes and you want to learn about that. But between Mutin and ADR, I'll tell you to join Mutin because Mutin is more encompassing. But again, please remember the advice I said, join everything. But where I add that to join the societies, you don't just buy a form and then you get in. There is an application process. So you'd have to write an essay and you do an interview. So if you want to join the societies, which because you're watching this video, I believe that you're going to join. You want to go and start watching videos and learning how to do interviews, how to write essays. If you need any help with that, when you get into the faculty and you want to apply, please just reach out to me and I would gladly assist you any way that I can. You have to study like your life depends on it. I've spoken about the importance of building a good CGPA in another video, which I'm going to link down below. Please join tutorials. Currently, there are two tutorials I know of. Primos tutors and LSS tutorials. LSS tutorials is free, Primos is paid. LSS tutorials is hosted by the Law Student Society. So in year one, you're going to be doing five courses, psychology, sociology, English, and legal methods. That's the only course that comes from the faculty of law. Psychology and sociology might not really give you issues because the exam is OBJ is multiple choice. But English and legal methods, it is written, and you don't just answer it the way you answer every other essay question this is where tutorial comes into play i attended lss tutorials in year one and it was very helpful to me so i would advise you to join for instance when you're answering law questions you have to use red viral to write your cases a quick example if they ask you what is defamation you don't just say defamation is so 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 you would say in the case of adora versus daniel for instance defamation was defined as this when you're writing Adora versus daniel that would be in red viral these are the things you learn when you join tutorials and please apply for competitions there are lots of essay competitions that nigerian students can apply for they are going to be interchamber debates this is exactly why i said you should join chambers in the beginning if you don't join a chamber and there's an intra-faculty competition how do you want to compete both in an adr society are very good opportunities to get to participate in international competitions like i said they train you and they also open you up to all these opportunities that you definitely want to partake in quick one to one to on why i'm doing this video and why these things are important these are things that would help you to become a well-rounded law student 
and let me tell you guys the job market is tough if you uh study to be a law student i believe that your end goal is to be a lawyer if you want to practice that's fine but if you want to practice you want to start building up your resume and cv now imagine you've graduated you come out with a first class by the grace of god and you have a first class on your cv and then someone else has a first class and they have most competition this essay competition this debate this please who would the employer want to pick you definitely want to pick that person because that person seems like a well-rounded law student and year one is the best time to start you don't want to be that person that just breezes in and out of the faculty try to make impact okay law student society is a student body for all law students the faculty they have an executive body right which is made up of the president the vice president and all other members of the executive you can only run for a position in the lss from when you are in year three and if that's something you're interested in if you're interested in pursuing students politics you want to start prepping yourself but the good thing is that for associations and chambers you can start running for a leadership position from year two so you want to do something in any association or chamber that you are in in year two do impactful work let people see that you are a hard worker and you're someone that adds value when you are giving a task and that will definitely help you when you want to do something in lss because they're like hmm adora when she was in tax club she did this she did that she was really efficient so i would vote her for president yeah <laughs> so there are a lot of faculty events that hold every session we have law ladies day we have national tax debates we have a maritime conference and all these events you are going to call for volunteer when you see a call for volunteers please and um, please apply when you are selected please don't be a lazy volunteer don't be an inactive volunteer and the beautiful thing about volunteering is that you can start volunteering from year one you don't have to wait till you are in year two to start volunteering like leadership positions where you have to wait outside of events you can also volunteer to be ambassadors for different organizations you can apply to be an ambassador for Kauri wise which i am and being an ambassador to Kauri wise for example opens you up to internship opportunities career workshops and opportunities to meet people from unis in nigeria see it's not just faculty i'm meeting people from unis all over nigeria also other events i can volunteer for like tedx in lab i volunteered for tedx in lab i'm like the assistant team lead for pr and just in this one position i know that i have learned so much about working with people <laughs> if you're that person that used to say oh i'm such a strong team player volunteering will test that when you join the chamber please when it's time for interchamber game please volunteer if it's football you can do if it's basketball you can do anyone please volunteer to play for your chamber which is also why you should join the best chamber Danny, because we've been winning interchamber games back to back but apart from interchamber games there's also like abiola or joe sports festival that one is in tra faculty and it is interclass like classes are playing against classes for my girlies for my girlies if you are doing if you are doing oh i don't play sports please you must play sports by all means 80 percent of fortune 500 female ceos said that they played sports in their formative years and they said that it helped them build essential skills which were very helpful in shaping their career path as these top career women that they are so please start playing sports it's very important you don't want to be a dull student you want to be an active student see please have fun attend law dinner attend fresh ass party you only live once i mean don't do parties too much where you now start ignoring your studies but don't be too stuck up and please apply for internships you can start applying by the time you're done with 100 level even though people say that oh you can't do impactful work if you apply in 100 level wait till you are in 300 level where i interned last year there were secondary school students and it might have been a bit you know strange to them because you know secondary school but i believe that the best part about internships is exposure if you intern in year one it might even help you to realize that oh maybe this law thing is not for me and it might also help you to realize hmm this law thing is for me this is also why you should join chambers and associations a lot of these chambers and associations they get internship slots for their students i know Ghani got internship slots for students last year but the law student society 
get internship slots for students and you can apply to firms directly and some firms also open up applications the bonus tip the life of a lawyer is the life of a writer i've heard so many people say this so if you are a law student and you don't know how to write please start learning how to write watch youtube videos take online courses read legal articles to see how they do this writing thing that they do public speaking is also another essential skill that you need to have as a lawyer which is why you should join Mutin and all these other societies and when you have chamber meetings or association meetings please try to speak up ask questions in class if you don't understand answer questions these are all ways in which you can build your public speaking skill there's also an event that holds in the faculty every year it's called lmun lagos model united nations to a good opportunity to build your public speaking skills and writing skills so yeah don't apply yourself don't be shy don't limit yourself and if you need any help if you need any questions please reach out to me my dms are open my instagram is in the description box so text me and i'll be happy to help with any questions you have about faculty of law university of legal or even ask in the comment section i'll answer you as usual you guys know the drill please like please subscribe if you're not subscribed yet and please and please i always say to share my video but this particular one please share it to every fresher that you know that is coming into the university of lagos i really wish that this gets to everyone everywhere so that it's not like they did not tell you you knew but you decided to not do it so yeah thank you guys so much and bye